We have been working a long time to be ready for the next coming months. We've been working a long time to be ready for launch. The next group of astronauts set to launch from the Space Coast has made their way to the Kennedy Space Center. This is News 6 at 4 and Lisa Bell. Glad you're with us tonight. I'm Matt Austin. Ginger has the night off. So the four members of Crew 10 are making final preps before they board SpaceX's Falcon 9 rocket and launch on Wednesday to the International Space Station. Once they get there, they will be switching places with Crew 9. Butch Wilmore and Sonny Williams will ride home with them on the Dragon capsule. They are the Boeing astronauts who launched last year on Starliner. When the astronauts from Crew 10 arrived less than an hour ago, they talked about the upcoming mission. If you just think about the scale of what we're doing up there, and it takes a full crew to continuously crew the space station, both for science and for maintenance. And that is the work that we're looking forward to doing when we get to the space station. Butch and Sonny were supposed to be in space for about a week, but they've ended up there for around nine months because of an issue with Starliner. Meantime, the FAA is investigating SpaceX's other rocket, the Starship, because of this. Wow. That is so, cool. that is so sad. Oh my gosh, it does. <gasps> Whoa. Oh my gosh. Now, this is video from boaters in the Bahamas. Take a look. The uncrewed Starship rocket broke apart after launching last night from Texas. The falling debris grounded flights at airports across Florida, including at Orlando International Airport, and caught the attention of Central Floridians looking to the skies. News 6's Catherine Silver is looking ahead as leaders try to figure out what happened. Gosh, it does. Eyes on the sky Thursday oh. night. Something coming in. A new six viewer captured this cell phone video of the bright light seen in Lake County as the latest launch of the SpaceX Starship ended with an explosion. About eight minutes after a seemingly successful launch from Texas, the eighth test flight of the world's biggest and most powerful rocket started spinning in space. And we just saw some engines go out. It looks like we are losing attitude control of the ship. SpaceX later confirmed the uncrewed rocket experienced a rapid unscheduled disassembly and mission control lost contact with the Starship. The second time in two months something like this oh my God. has happened during a SpaceX launch. Like, what is this even? This time, the FAA ordered all flights to come to a halt at the Orlando International Airport. They're also requiring SpaceX to perform a mishap investigation. But they've obviously got a similar sort of problem with uh, what looked like um, uncontrolled venting or an overpressure situation that leads to engines shutting down and then tumbling and destruction of the upper stage. We spoke to a professor at UCF about the back-to-back -back mishaps. SpaceX adopts a very aggressive style of testing where uh, they're open to failure and then iterating and uh, fixing what goes wrong on one test and moving on to the next. And CBS News space analyst Bill Harwood. How long this was going to take to resolve before they could fly again is anybody's guess. I suspect it's going to take a little longer uh, to work through this fault tree, as they call it, figure out what went wrong uh, before they clear SpaceX to fly the Starship big of a setback is this? Starship is a critical part of NASA's efforts to get boots back on the moon. You know, they're planning to use it as a moon lander for the Artemis mission, the first landing on the moon uh, right now scheduled for 2027. Um, but it remains to be seen. I think that two failures in a row raises eyebrows. Of course, we just don't have enough insight into how SpaceX operates to understand just how significant this really is. Catherine Silver, getting results, News 6.